Hi, my name is Terry Oaks. Um, this video today will be about cerebral palsy and what it's like to live with cerebral palsy and how I get through uh, my daily life. Uh, so, again, cerebral palsy is a congenital disorder of movement. Um, it has to do with the muscles of a person's body. It can be the lower portion of the body or the upper portion of, of the body or both. So the type of cerebral palsy I have is called spastic diaplegia. Spastic meaning tightness. Diaplegia referring to the muscles in my legs. Um, anyway, the type of cerebral palsy I have is called spastic diaplegia. Um, and basically what that means is uh, cerebral palsy. I was, basically I was born very early. Um, for instance, I weighed a pound and nine ounces at birth, uh, and I had to have pure, pure oxygen um, <clears throat> to keep me alive, um, and I, I believe I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when I was maybe one or two years old, um, but really, if, to me, having cerebral palsy isn't bad at all. It, it could be worse. Um, <laughs> and uh, also I have what's called ROP which is a vision impairment uh, but I can still see so vision impaired and blind are two different things blind is you can't see at all and vision impaired means you can see but it's limited you have a limited vision um, but the, cerebral, the type of cerebral palsy you have isn't that severe as uh, some cases of cerebral palsy for me, I'm actually I, I fare pretty well on cerebral palsy, so I'm I'm happy to say that the types of equipment I use uh, to help me get through my everyday life is uh, a, a walker, um, a pull a walker uh, to help me walk. Um, but I mean, as far as you know walking in open space I use a walk it up me walk and as far as you know walking in say like my house uh, I use I don't use my walker I just hold on to the you know table or chairs or whatever to get around in you know in a confined space um and some of the stuff I had go wrong with me uh you know like I used to have seizures when I was a baby uh, but I don't have those anymore. Um, and like with my CP, I try not to let that stop me from doing well whatever I set my mind to. Uh, um, I remember, you know, like one time what because I went to a school in Austin, uh, and I tried out for the track team. And I remember a kid telling me, "How, how, how are you gonna do track? You use a walker." And from that point on, I was like, I'm determined to show you and show other people that I can do track with Walker and with cerebral palsy. And from that point on, it, <laughs> I was determined to, you know, do track and do other stuff, other, you know, sports. I mean, sure, it was hard to do, but I did them, and I'm glad I tried them out. Um, <laughs> but yes, so as far as, you know, trying to do different things for, I would encourage, you know, any young person with CP or cerebral palsy, you know, if you have a thought, I want to try and do this, I want to try and do that, try it. Don't let other people tell you you can't do it just because they don't think you can do it. Try it. It can't hurt. Um, my view on it is if you can't do that, try something else. Like, I've done track. I've done tennis. I even did tennis, blind tennis in a wheelchair. And honestly, I was a little nervous about that. But, you know, yeah, I tried it. And it was actually quite fun. And, and you know, when I've done these sports, I've gotten to travel. Uh, like, so, so far, I've been to... Because the school that I went to was in Austin, Texas. So, so far, I've gotten to go to Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. And I've gotten to go to South Padre Island. Which I thought was really cool. 
Um, but yeah, like, uh, and there was a, another student at my school who, a couple students at my school in Austin who had CP or cerebral palsy. And what I did is instead of telling them that, you know, they couldn't do certain things, I tried to, <clears throat> I tried to be the one that encouraged them to do, you know, like if you, if they were to, you know, say, I want to do this. I was like, okay, hey, try it. It might be different. You might have to do it a different way, but you can do it. You just may have to, you know, work a little bit harder at it. Like I had to do, you know, I had to work harder, you know, harder doing track, figuring out, you know, how to do the stretches a different way. I had to have staff help me figure that out. Uh, like I had a physical therapist who helped me figure it out, like how to do the stretches and exercises a different way. But, you know, she helped me do it, you know, I'm glad for it. And I thanked her for that. Um, I also thanked the whole school for, you know, helping me, encouraging me to, you know, follow my dream, uh, figure out what I wanted to do and how to accomplish it. Um, like, for me, living with cerebral palsy, like, you know, I'm glad my mother tried to, you know, uh, for instance, give me a normal life as, of, you know, make my life as normal as possible. I mean, and I don't let, for me, I don't let cerebral palsy define me at all. Um, but yeah, I try not to sort of let <clears throat> my, I wouldn't say disability because uh, it's really not a proper way to say, I, I think, but I try not to let, you know, having cerebral palsy and the retinopathy of prematurity stopped me from doing what I, you know, set my mind to. And, uh, you know, 